This is Dia and welcome to Mom and Me. Today I bring to you 10 things to do around your house before you go on a vacation. Whether you're going out of town for just the weekend or leaving for weeks, there are few essential things you should do around your home before you embark. Today I will break down the 10 must-do tasks you should complete before you leave your home. So you can have that peace of mind while you're gone and you can come back to your home the way you left it. So here's a checklist for you so you can prepare your home for a long vacation. First things first, pack bags in advance and keep travel documents ready. A sure way to avoid stress before traveling is to pack at least one week in advance. I personally prefer to pack two weeks in advance as this additional one week is a window to top up my luggage with things that I forgot to pack or if I need to buy new things. So pack your bags and keep them ready to go. Also keeping all travel documents ready will keep you relaxed, especially if you're traveling overseas and carrying your visas, vaccination certificates along with your passports. Keep them all organized in a travel waste pack, which is an easy and convenient way to stay organized during traveling. Do not forget to add few pens to assist you with filling in-flight immigration forms. Another thing to keep in mind is to book taxi to airport a week in advance. We need a taxi with two booster seats for kids, so we preferred booking it well in advance. Lastly, pre-deciding what you will be wearing in flight and taking the clothes out the night before avoids the rush in the morning. Second, meal prep for your journey. Next tip is to prep some food for the flight. If you have kids or if you are on a special diet, this will be very helpful. I will be sharing the detailed recipes of all the snacks that I plan to prep for my kids for the 24-hour door-to-door journey in my next vlog. So stay tuned to Mom and Me. Third, clean and tidy up your home. Now this one does sound boring but a bit of tidying up will reap rewards when you return from your trip. Check these chores off your list. Vacuum carpets, mop floors and dispose the garbage. Also flush the sink with a solution of vinegar and water and pour some chlorine in toilet bowls to avoid bacteria buildup. Deep clean the appliances like dishwasher using the dishwasher liquid. This removes lime scale, grease and grime built up from the pipes and other hidden parts of the dishwasher. To deep clean washing machine, you can either run the inbuilt drum function or you can simply run your washing machine on a hot cycle with baking soda. This should remove the gunk and the soap built up in the drum. Cleaning your machines will ensure you do not return to foul-smelling machine as there will be heaps of dirty clothes to wash and last thing you want is smelly clothes from the machine itself. I also deep clean my vacuum cleaner. We tend to always overuse these home cleaning appliances and forget to clean them on time. So make sure to clean your vacuum cleaner as per the manufacturer's instructions at least every few months. Doing small maintenance in the kitchen is also highly recommended. Wash and empty the water jug, oil and ghee dispensers, clean the clutter from the kitchen counter and remove as many things as possible visible on the counter so that it does not accumulate dust. For bedrooms, place an old bed sheet on the bed so that when you arrive from holiday, you do not have to change the sheets and can go straight to the bed. If you are away for a longer period, you may consider placing two old bed sheets to keep the bottom sheet clean. Wash and tuck away the blanket in your linen cupboard so that it does not accumulate dust. Do not leave any dirty dishes. Wash and place them in the dishwasher if they are still wet. Empty the trash and recycling and put the garbage bins out but do arrange with neighbor to take the bins inside. Next tip is to clean and empty the fridge. This is one household appliance that consumes a lot of energy. So do yourself a favor by turning it off if you're going away for a month or more. Consume or give away all the food that is lying in your fridge 
unplug the refrigerator and clean the inside with some baking soda mixed in water. You can also leave an open pack of baking soda inside the fridge to absorb odors and deter the growth of mold and mildew. My friend suggested that it is not recommended to turn the fridge off. So I wanted to know if it is a good idea to turn the fridge off or not. So I looked up on expressappliancerepair.com and followed the instructions they had to properly turn the refrigerator off. They recommended turning off at least a few days in advance. Leave the doors open while the fridge is defrosting. As the fridge is defrosting, you should clean both the insides and the back of it. Clean the drawers and shelves with a mild soapy water. I will leave a link to the exact instructions in the description box below in case you would like to check it out. Tip number 5. Unplug electronics and save electricity. You can save on electricity while you are away by unplugging your electronics. It may seem insignificant but switching off your electronics before going away on holiday can help you make good savings on your next energy bill as well as reducing the risk of fire. Tip number 6. Make alternate arrangements for the mail. If you are going to holiday for more than few weeks, then it is recommended that you suspend your mail services to keep your important documents safe. The postal service provides customers with the option to either divert or put their mails on hold with a service fee. They hold the mail at the post office until the date you specified. After that, all your mail will be delivered. You could also request your neighbor to collect your mail from your mailbox while you're away. Now let's look at some safety measures. The first one being scheduled lights. Turning off all the lights may seem to be the ideal solution when you're going away on a long vacation. However, installing outdoor lights with motion sensors do an excellent job of deterring burglars. Set your porch lights or front hallway lights on a timer so it appears someone is home. Another one is to remove spare keys. If you keep your spare keys in any secret places around your houses, make sure to remove them from there. Thieves usually check under the door mat and in fake rocks for spare keys. So be aware of that. Next one is open or drawn curtains. Well, leave your curtains just the way you always leave them. If you're used to keeping your curtains open, a drastic change like drawing your curtains could get your home noticed. Instead, Keep expensive items out of plain sight. Tip number 8. Arrange for your plants to be taken care of. If you have indoor plants that needs to be taken care of, then ask your friends if they are happy to look after your plant babies. If your trip is short, then there are many irrigation systems available in the market. However, if the trip is long, then you may ask someone to look after your plants. Also, arrange for your garden to be taken care of by cutting the grass short and water them deeply before you leave. Or arrange for a gardener to come and provide their professional services. Tip number 9. Make arrangements for your spouse. If you are leaving behind your husband or any other family member, then arrange for their food and other essentials. You may arrange for a cleaner who can come and clean the house to make things easier for your family behind. You may order tiffin service so that your spouse does not have to worry about cooking after a long day at work. Keep essentials like toiletries at arm's reach so that the stay behind is as smooth as possible. And last tip is to arrange for a friend to keep a check on your house. While it's not completely necessary to have someone house sit your empty home, it is nice to have someone you trust watch over your house once in a while. This can mean having someone make a quick drive through the neighborhood or giving them the key so that they can walk in and make sure nothing has happened inside your house. Vacations are meant to help you relax and unwind. But if you don't prepare for the fun, you can end up having a hard time instead. Don't let a lack of preparation spoil your much-awaited long holiday. Just use these tips to prepare your home before you leave for your vacation and you're sure to have an amazing time. I'll sign off on this note and I will see you next time where I will be prepping few snacks for kids for a long travel. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please consider hitting like and subscribe to mom and me and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.